this is a Dell Optiplex GX620 and we're going to upgrade the uh, hard drive and make your computer faster the number one thing you can do for your for your uh, computer speed it up is to buy an SSD but if you can't afford the SSD let me show you what I did it's even cheaper okay you go up, go up to your top in the back push your lever out that's gonna that's gonna release the side here we're on the side of the computer here's the front over here okay you release the top here just tilt it back lift out the side panel Okay, and down here is your hard drive at the, the bottom in the front. It's gonna be it's gonna be this it, right here, and it's it's got these plastic rails on here. Okay, you first you're gonna remove these cords, pull the wires loose. Yours might look a little different. I think I exchanged it since uh, you know I made some upgrades here, so I don't remember if I changed the wires out though since the factory. You're just gonna grab this and squeeze these, squeeze these two together, and then pull out after you pull them wires. This plastic, this plastic thing, you just screw it on there on your new. I got the drive in upside down. It's okay. This is a drive I picked up on uh, eBay. It's called Velociraptor. You see right there, Velociraptor, Western Digital. It's got 10,000 RPM speed, the spin speed. I pointed out right here to you. The, the faster the spin speed, the better. I think I only got this thing for eight or ten bucks on uh, eBay. It's uh, where's the size of it? I'm having trouble focusing it. Uh, 160 gigabyte, right there. And if you can do it, if you can do the SSD though, that's going to be quicker. But that's like twenty dollars for an SSD. So anyway, you want to put it in here and just unscrew the sides of this this rail thing here. You see how I got it in there? Well, I didn't even I didn't even screw it in. You just, you just this 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 came this this heat sink this black part here is a heat sink. It came like that. It goes right in this this blue, I don't know what they call this thing, uh, caddy, okay? Just squeeze, just drop it in there, your new hard drive, even if you don't get a Velociraptor, if you get a faster spin speed, uh, you can get a 7200 RPM, that's pretty good. It's over the factory uh, the one that was in there. Okay, so anyway, now you got it in there. You're gonna tip it back over, upside down. Now remember to un unplug your computer before you start this. This is the hardest part, getting this thing lined up right. There it is. Okay, push it in, and you just put your wires back on. And then put your cover back on. That's it there. You can go, if you don't use the rail, the blue rail there, just make sure you screw it in the side there. Screw it in the side down here. Make sure you get one or two screws in there. You don't need you don't need the blue rail there. This caddy. You don't need that if it don't have it. When you get in your computer. Okay, now just put the side back on, you're all set. And you're gonna go back and now you gotta you, now you got an empty hard drive there. So you're gonna go back, get get your Windows 7 CD ROM, your CD that came with your computer, probably with this with this one. Just push it on here. And you're gonna reload the uh Put your CD-ROM in there. Reload, reload Windows, and then uh, and then go on the internet and download Windows 10 for free. Okay, this uh, this is Optiplex GX620. I'll make a new video. I'm, I'm rushed today. 
I'll make a new video soon about the loading SSD. You're going to reload Windows and then put on Windows 10 if you can. Okay.